Hey guys, Ben from Men's Game Time. Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Last time, we duelled against Axel, who had captured Cyrus and tied him up over a cliff and all that, but uh, we dueled him and his fire-based deck, and we beat him pretty easily, actually. And then after the duel, the biobands activated and both Jaden and Axel collapsed, so some weird stuff's going on with that. This time we're doing Primal Instinct, so let's get started. So, Jaden eventually woke up a bit groggy. Jim Cook came to him concerned that he detected electromagnetic waves that seemed to affect certain people's behavior. When they went to investigate, Hasselberry surprisingly attacked Jim Cook, clearly affected by the electromagnetic waves. Even Jim Cook's crocodile, Shirley, was acting strangely. Something in the air has triggered my crocodile, Shirley's primal instincts, or primitive instincts. Normally, there's a balance between positive and negative energy, but that's not the case here. Maybe that's why I passed out earlier. How are we supposed to get these thing? How are we supposed to get things balanced again? We start by finding the source of the problem. Grr! Attack, Crocman. Easy boy. What was that all about? I understand the Croc, but why are you going nuts? It's because Hasselberry's part animal. Yeah, you're right. He got into an accident during an archaeological dig, and they had to use a dinosaur bone to fix the broken leg. Hold on. Fix his leg, yep. So that means he has dino DNA in his blood. Part dinosaur, eh? I have to admit, that's a new one, but it sounds fun. So if it's a fight you want, then you count me in, mate. Grunt. Must duel. Don't go throwing a wobbly. I'm just looking for a friendly game. <laughs> uh, man. I should really, uh, man, I should really turn off notifications when I record these. Oh well, whatever. So yeah, some weird stuff's happening. We got, we got Hasselberry acting up. We got the crocodile acting up. So yeah. All right. So yeah, we. As you can kind of guess, uh, Hasselberry, because he was at an archaeological dig and dinosaur bones and all that, his deck is dinosaur based, so he's kind of like Rex Raptor, but not really. I don't know. And then our deck is based off of just like rock monsters. Uh, okay, so what do we got fusion wise? We have a uh, multiple piece golem, which is big piece golem plus a medium piece golem. At the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can return it to the extra deck. Then, if all the fusion material monsters that were used for the fusion summon of this card are in the graveyard, you can special summon them. Alright, interesting. We got the Earth Hex Sealed Fusion. You can substitute this card for any one fusion mo material monster. That's pretty good. But the other fusion material monsters must be correct. Alright, you can tribute fusion material monsters on the field, including this face-up card, special summon one, corresponding Earth Fusion. Alright, so we already... so that's pretty good. Mega Rock Dragon. This card cannot be normal summon or set. This card cannot be special summoned except by removing from play a rock type monster in your graveyard or monsters. Uh, the original attack and defense of this card becomes the number of rock type monsters you remove from play when you summon this card by 700. Interesting. We've got Big Piece Golem, which uh, if your opponent controls a monster and you control non monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributes. That's pretty good. And we already have medium uh, medium piece golem. We got catapult zone. All right. Well, wait. What does medium piece golem do? Actually, I skipped over that. When this color is summoned, you can and if you control a big piece golem, you can special summon one small piece golem from your deck. That monster's effect is negated while this is on the field. All right. So catapult zone. Once per turn, if a monster you control would be destroyed by battle, you can send one rock type monster from your deck. To to your graveyard instead. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. I think that's a continuous spell, isn't it? Oh no, it's a field spell. Okay, never mind. So that's good. And then I'm going to summon Big Piece Golem in attack mode. And we'll take care of whatever that is face down. Alright, pretty good. Alright, oh, okay, at the end of a damage step, if an opponent's monster that battle, this card is not destroyed, return that to the opponent's hand. Ooh. 
So I'm defenseless right now. That's interesting. Although I can activate Big Peace Golem's ability again, so that's at least helpful. Okay, right, direct attack me, that's okay. Alright, so we have three Big Peace Golems right now. That's pretty good. Uh, I just need to get a Polymerization and I'll be able to make um, one of those multi-piece golems. So there we go, and we got a big, like a just nice powerful monster on the field. So things are going well. And with uh, Catapult Zone, if like something could destroy it, I could easily just like kind of work on things. Oh, what? Okay, everything's got destroyed. And we got a save resource on the field. So, I guess he just unleashed the Apocalypse. Oh, nice, we got, um, Polymerization. So, I'm gonna s summon Big Peace Golem first. Yes. And then, after that, I'm gonna activate Polymerization so I can make sure I can get two uh, summons in this turn. And then I'm gonna do Medium Peace Golem and the other... Big piece golem in my. Um, actually, yeah, sure, we'll do it that way. So now I have like three. Or, yeah, I have three rocks in my graveyard right now. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on summoning this one, the um, Mega Rock Dragon. I'm gonna wait for like a good number so that way I know it's unstoppable. So. There we go. A lot of damage going in. That's pretty good. Pretty good turn right there. And we're going to end phase. And I don't want to destroy Mega or multiple piece Golem. And he's got another Jurassic World. Uh, however, that is not enough. So let's see, I got 2600 here, 2100 here. So that's 47. Right? So we're just going to summon small piece Golem. And win the still right now. Uh, when this card is summoned, if you control Big Piece Golem, you can special summon one Medium Piece Golem from your deck. That monster's effect is negated while this card face up. Okay, yeah, sure, let's do that. So, put him in attack mode. Awesome. Uh, no, I don't want to activate the pe Medium Piece Golem. We already have enough monsters on the field, so... Attack. And then attack and then attack, and we have one. Great. Perfect. Another pretty easy duel, all things considered. So, I like that though. Don't want to spend like 20 to 30 minutes on a duel. Just being, just going in circles or whatever. So, I'm all tuckered out. That's weird. Something sucked the life out of me. I think I know what. It's this bio band. I could swear when the duel ended, they activated and somehow left us feeling stuffed. I don't know about you, mate, but I'm gonna ha have me a snoozer. Alright, over and out, boys. Oh, crap. <laughs> I, it paused for a second, so... So yeah, that... Well, missed like a little bit of the story there, but it's related to the biobands and all that stuff, so... Sorry about that, you probably just paused the video or I could... Yeah, I'll probably edit it or something. We'll see. But yeah, so... So yeah, Bioband Mystery continues. And it seems like probably Viper's behind it. So, um, so yeah, I'll see if I can like edit in what those words were. Um, make it easy on everyone that way. But uh, that's all for this time. And so next time we're going to do Head in the Clouds. So I will see you guys then.